Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Tuesday, the 17th of November. I'm James Spann. The weather stays very quiet for the rest of this week. Maybe a few showers by Sunday or Monday. And of course, we're watching iota that is inland over Central America this morning. Here's the upper look this morning. A northwest flow aloft and a very dry air mass. And another chilly morning to start today. Gadsden at 30. Anniston 33. Mid-30s for Sylacauga and Alexander City. Much like yesterday, this day will be sunny and cool with highs in the low to mid-60s today. There's the watch warning map. Pretty quiet. The few counties in Alabama highlighted. Those are frost advisories this morning. There's the severe weather outlook today. Obviously, no problems with that anytime soon. This is the rain for the next seven days. Precipitation. Again, the heavier totals. Seattle, Portland, Northern California. Also, parts of the Midwest and the Great Lakes will see a pretty decent amount of rain, but not much here. This is suggesting a tenth of an inch or less for most of the state, and this is valid through Tuesday morning of next week. We'll probably start to see a few isolated showers by Sunday or Monday with a front, but at the moment, it looks like rain amount should be very light. Iota, boy, this thing came in as an upper end category four, much like Ada. In fact, uh, Iota came in within 15 miles of the landfall point of Ada that came in 13 days ago. Uh, on the Nicaragua coast last night. It's weakening rapidly this morning. It will be dissipating over El Salvador, but of course the tremendous rains continue with uh, major flooding, mudslide issues for Central America. Last thing they need. Another disturbance in the Southwest Caribbean with a 40% chance of becoming a depression or storm within five days. That will stay way south of the Gulf of Mexico. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06 c run, four o'clock today. Trough Ridge Trough, the trough over the northeastern states, ridge over the central U.S. And again, beautiful weather here, sunny with low to mid 60s. Tomorrow, another sunny day. We start the day in the 30s, high 60 to 65. This is Thursday, same thing, Friday. We'll be up there close to 70 on Friday, bright and sunny. And this is Saturday, another beautiful day, sunny with low 70s. Sunday, moisture begins to return with a southerly flow. We'll mention just a small chance of a shower. They'll be isolated, the high close to 70. Showers along the front north and west of the state. And then Monday, as the front approaches, it encounters this drier air. There'll be a few showers around Monday, but at the moment, it doesn't look like a big rain event. Highs will be in the 60s. And this is a week from today, Tuesday the 24th. A couple of days before Thanksgiving, troughing over Texas. And the front will be stalling out. And the latest guidance giving us a more kind of wet signal for uh, Thanksgiving week. If this is right, we'll have a chance of showers on Tuesday. And this is the instability. There is some buoyancy, so there could be a few thunderstorms on Tuesday as well. But highs would look to be in the 60s. I don't think this will be a big severe weather deal, just maybe some thunder. And this is uh, th Thanksgiving Day, uh, Thursday of next week. Uh, troughing coming down across the Great Plains states, and that looks pretty quiet, although there might be a few isolated showers. Here's the rain from Birmingham off the European Ensemble, the mean a little over one inch. And again, you can see uh, signals for better rain chances out there toward the end of this month and the 1st of December. Highs in the 60s here through Thursday, low 70s for the weekend, then back in the 60s for much of Thanksgiving week. And the CPC outlook, this is for the 24th through the 30th, suggesting temperatures here could be a little above average. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. There are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more.